school. Let's talk about it. I'm a high school 10th grade student, which according to many people, is one of the worst years in education, and I completely agree. We all know the pain of waking up at 7 a.m. in the morning and realizing it's Monday, enduring eight hours of sitting in class, and by the time I'm home, I'm so tired all I can do is. I got into a pretty good school, but that doesn't stop me from feeling incredibly dumb all the time, especially since I struggle with most of my classes. The only reason why I was able to get into this school is because middle school Caitlin was super smart and present Caitlin just... lost all her brain cells somewhere. But as much as I hate school, I gotta admit that there are some classes I can tolerate. So that's what we're talking about today. Keep in mind that I said classes I can tolerate. I'm not even gonna read these words out loud. I highly doubt you guys would be interested in watching me rant for 10 minutes straight anyways. Art. In the beginning of the year, you have to pick between music and art. Now, I like both, but as you can probably guess, I pick art. So you might be wondering, why art? Well... Because I am determined to sharpen my skills and learn new things. To give my creativity and non-existent natural talent a chance to flourish. And to finally become the artist I've always dreamed to- Psych! It's because I have severe stage fright and will do anything in my power to stay away from one. Also, it's the only class that we're allowed to use our phones in for looking at references. Since my body just refuses to function without music, I asked my teacher if I could listen to some while drawing, and she said, Yeah, sure, whatever. Oh yeah, I'll roll up to the party with the handle Dope class, 9 out of 10 PE We have two PE lessons every week The first lesson is for doing warm-ups and running Our school is right next to a park that's surrounded by a running track So this is where we spend most of our time in the first class Now here's the thing Our teacher always tells us to do slow running Nothing too complicated, just one giant lap of slow running so we get a good start, everybody's on tempo as the teacher watches us. But once we hit the blind spot, oh god, that's when chaos starts. People joke around and push each other, some might even just stop and start talking. And most people clearly don't know what slow running is, because I always hear the words, go faster. I'm sorry, but how can you not know what slow running is? It's in the name. Go faster. It's in the name, Gerald! It's in the name! And the funny thing is, once we leave the blind spot, suddenly everyone's back in perfect sync again. Except for me, running gives me stomach cramps. P.E. gets a six. And a half. Because we can do whatever we want on the second lesson. Geography. Volcanoes, caves, mountains, oceans, and... Weird lakes. The more classes I join, the more my bucket list of places to go gets longer. Yo, how many years of school do we have left? Uh... I think... About six? I see. Eight out of ten. Biology. In my class, hating on biology is some kind of ritual before and after every lesson. So I kind of have to hide the fact that I love biology, so I don't get hated on for having a different opinion. <coughs> I might not get the highest grades. In fact, they're pretty bad, but it still doesn't change the fact that I enjoy it. 8 out of 10. And I I'd give it a 10 out of 10, but I just, I kind of suck at it, so yeah. 8 out of 10. German. For me, learning a new language is pretty fun, and I personally enjoy the lessons. Also, besides English, it's literally the only class I got an A in. But there's one thing that really bothers me about this class, and it's called 
The point system. Allow me to explain. So basically, how it works is you get a point for every time you raise your hand to answer a question. And you're only allowed to raise your hand once a week for some reason. If you collect 10 of these by the end of the semester, the teacher boosts your grade by 3%. Wait. That's it? Is that all I get? But that's... Not that bad. All you have to do is answer, like, one question every week, is what you might be able to say. I, on the other hand, was cursed to being one of the shyest people to walk this planet. In fact, the only reason why I can actually post videos on YouTube is because I can work alone in my dark, lonely cave surrounded by three different screens while looking like I could die from sleep deprivation at any minute. While in real life, I'm quiet, I'm shy, and sometimes wish I had the power to just turn invisible. So when it comes to speaking in class, I fall into the whatever you do, please don't pick me, I will faint from an adrenaline rush if you do category. So I think that should explain why I don't like the point system. 7 out of 10, and that is a very generous 7 out of 10. Freaking point system. English. I freaking love this class. Some of you guys might not notice, but I actually live in Turkey, so English is just our second language. And since I can fluently speak English, this class is basically free A's. But I don't love this class because it's the easiest one. I love it because my teacher is the best. Out of all the English teachers I've ever had, she's the most understanding one. I'm allowed to study for the classes I'm actually behind in or work on the scripts for my videos, which is pretty darn cool. So since it's my most productive and successful class, I'm gonna give it a nice 10 out of 10. History. Everyone sleeps. 3 out of 10. Literature. This class is so time consuming it drives me crazy. I used to love reading, but school ruined it for me. Then again, school ruined everything for me. I don't have any time to read anything I actually enjoy because of literature class. Then they dare ask us why we don't read more. And there's just way too many things you have to memorize. Like, I don't have enough brain cells to comprehend a fraction of this. Hey, maybe we're doing something wrong here. Hmm, you might be right. Let's give him more reading assignments. Fun fact. Actually, it's it's not a fun fact. I it's just it's just a fact. Our literature teacher is also a classroom teacher. So props to her for not quitting her job yet. Here's a glimpse of what my classroom looks like for further context. <laughs> 5 out of 10. Hey guys, it's 4 a.m. Caitlin over here. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you subscribe to become part of our little community. And I'll see you guys in a week or two. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go collapse on my bed.